House Leader Third Party and member for College and Valley. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Dad was one of those people who was always healthy. He avoided colds and flus and in a 25-year career didn't have a single sick day. He was active and fit. In the deep winter on cold, dark nights on our acreage in Alberta, Dad would run up and down the basement stairs in the evenings to ensure he got a workout every day. And then something changed. For the first time ever, he came down with a terrible feverish flu. Then he fell and broke several ribs. In his whole life, the only thing he had ever broken twice was his nose while playing soccer and having an unfortunate collision with another player. Suddenly, Dad was not only getting sick and injured, he was also deeply tired, too tired to be the active person we'd always known him to be. What we didn't know, and what I so, so wish we had, was that these changes we saw in Dad were in fact symptoms of a disease that none of us had ever heard of. Multiple myeloma is a cancer of the plasma cells that are found in our bone marrow. These are immune cells that produce the antibodies we need to fight infections. Each day, eight Canadians are diagnosed with multiple myeloma, but the disease and its symptoms remain relatively unknown. Bone pain and fractures, fatigue, persistent infections are symptoms of this cancer, and while it is not curable, it is treatable, and early detection and diagnosis helps to result in better outcomes. I wish we had known this in 1999 when Dad's symptoms appeared. He was diagnosed two years later in April 2001, and because access to therapies was difficult then as it is today, Dad was not able to get the treatment that could have prolonged his life, possibly for many years. He died six months after his diagnosis on October 16, 2001, he was 61. Multi Myeloma Canada is working to raise awareness of this disease and working to improve access to effective therapies. I'm grateful that they are helping to create better outcomes for individuals diagnosed with myeloma.